are seeing other companies tell them just keep taking massive action and trust the process, which is total bullshit because without a game plan, without a structure to move things forward effectively, you're just going to be essentially spinning your wheels. Okay. And then doing that a whole bunch more times isn't going to suddenly get you laid or suddenly get you a whole bunch of results. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. So in the past recent videos, I talked about my opener. I talked about not doing fancy and gamey stuff. Okay, so now a lot of guys are commenting or emailing me, what do I say next in the interaction? How do I structure the interaction? Okay, so I wanna talk about conversational threads today. Okay, before we get into that, if you're interested in us diagnosing your game, me and my coaches, uh, book a free call, 30 minutes, link is in the description. We will get on a call with you <clears throat> assess where you're at, tell you how we can take you very, very, very far in this game very quickly. Okay. And as always subscribe if you have not already. So conversational threads, I really like mysteries example of this stuff. This has to do with vibing. Okay. The actual interaction, the back and forth when you are talking to a stranger. Okay. Mystery has an example in his book. He says, if you were walking along in a park and you saw a girl with a dog, okay. And you said, Hey, nice dog. What's his name? Blah, blah, blah. Cool, what kind of dog is it? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, how long have you had him? Blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, okay, um, and you're starting to reach for the next things to say. The problem with this is you only had one thread and you're beating it into the ground, okay? So instead, you should be multi-threading the conversation, okay? Jumping from topic to topic, almost like strings on a guitar, okay? And you should actively be managing the conversational threads as well, okay? So if a, a, a thread happens to become negative or stirs it like say some song comes on or something reminds her oh this blah 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 my ex-boyfriend or like you know my mother that died or etc cetera, etc cetera. <clears throat> you don't really want to harp on that particular thread okay in a cold approach pickup okay if it's a girl that you're seeing or whatever that's fine but in an initial interaction you want to steer the conversation actively away from those negative topics okay mystery also says that it's the man's responsibility to lead and keep the conversation interesting if the conversation becomes boring and falls flat the girl is going to blame you Okay, and punish you as a result. Tell you have a nice day, leave, etc. Okay, so you should have a set of go-to topic areas. Okay, I don't believe in these canned routines from old school game. Okay, old school game for those of you that are not familiar that Neil Strauss talked about and Mystery and some of these guys. They had um, canned routines, almost like a comedian would have comedic bits. Okay, so you would say one that I used to use when I first started out. I would say uh, my little sister just got a tattoo of her boyfriend's first name on her shoulder or whatever my mom's freaking out ha 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 what do you think about this and then the, the girl will be like oh my god like don't let her or i say she wants to do that and the girl will be like don't let her do that this and that blah 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 blah, right and a bunch of other like little they would call it like gambits okay these days i don't do that stuff and i haven't for a long time but there are specific stories that i tell that are laced with high value okay so mystery also talks about <clears throat> how there's five attraction switches okay leader of men protector of loved ones um, willingness to emote, adventurous life, and pre-selection, okay, that other attractive women approve of you. So you can tell stories with these types of things dropped in, okay, kind of like planting seeds for her to infer that there's high value associated with it rather than being like, hey, did you know that I fucked this hot girl over here? Or, hey, did you know that I drive a Corvette? Or do you know that I uh, fucking am a doctor, a lawyer, whatever, okay? That stuff does has the opposite effect because you are purposely bragging about it okay so it looks like you're trying to win her over through those means or overcompensate instead you make these high value things dropped into stories in the background okay so when i am in an interaction in person or on a date okay i'm talking about how i lived all around the world how i lived in a whole bunch of different countries okay i talk about how i have two bachelor's degrees and two master's degrees so i'm showing that i'm also intelligent i talk about how i run a company i don't say it's a dating company i say it's you know business etc etc i also talk about how um, you know, I can speak different languages. I had all these experiences living in these, these different countries, how I worked on nuclear missile defense, okay? And, what, and how I DJ, right? That was a side hobby before I got into pickup and games. So what you're trying to do is, is show her that you're the full package, okay? You want to show her that you have all these different hobbies, interests, worldly aspirations, intelligence, etc., etc. And at the same time, you are peppering in flirtation and, and sexuality and all this stuff to turn the conversation sexual. Don't have conversations that lead to nowhere, okay? You should be directing the conversation towards taking the girl home, okay, if it's a night game or day game situation, or towards getting her phone number so you can set up a date later, okay?
Okay, so most guys, the big problem with guys vibing is they're like, okay, like, what's the next cool thing? What's the next funny thing? What's the next, you know, witty thing? The, the next whatever, which falls in the category of fancy, gamey, gimmicky, etc. And then when they've exhausted their repertoire of stupid shit to say, the girl gets bored and leaves. Okay, so instead, go through a bunch of high value type stuff while at the same time you pepper in flirtation and sexuality. Okay, so that it doesn't become a, just a pure platonic fact exchange interaction. And then be directing it towards how you guys should hang out at a later date. Okay, or be directing it towards how you guys should hang out later that night. Okay, so to recap, after you open with hi, can I meet you real quick? Okay, and you're looking with a strong eye contact, you're squaring up your body language, speaking loud enough, downward inflection, vocal tonality, okay? Expressive facial expressions and body language. After you do all that, to vibe, it's simply just being able to stack up a bunch of conversational threads, bouncing between them. When one thread is starting to die out, you cut that thread. If a thread becomes negative, you cut that thread. Okay, if she lights up about a certain thread, you can explore that one more. At the same time, peppering in sexuality, okay, and flirtation, and be, be directing things forward, okay? I know the exact steps and exact structure to move the interaction forward from open to close. So that's not what the purpose of this video is, but if you want to learn that high level structure, learn exactly how to structure your vibe and your verbals so that you can set up as many dates as possible or so you can take home as many girls right then as possible if the logistics support doing so at that time, then sign up for a free 30 minute call. We will go into the full details of that. This is just a high level overview because what I see is most guys this ties back into the fancy gamey gimmicky stuff. Most guys are in there trying to say all this stupid stuff and they have no clear direction of where they're moving the interaction. Okay, so most guys end up stalling the conversation out at some point and then it ends. Okay, and they keep doing this over and over and over. RFC and other companies tell them just keep taking massive action and trust the process, which is total bullshit because without a game plan, without a structure to move things forward effectively, you're just going to be essentially spinning your wheels. Okay, and then doing that a whole bunch more times isn't going to suddenly get you laid or suddenly get you a whole bunch of results. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. If you are interested in learning the full structure from A to Z in this game, how to do it as effectively, efficiently, optimally, and quickly as possible to get those results, sign up for that free 30 minute call in the description below. Sign up for uh, notifications and subs uh, subscribe to the channel for new videos all the time. Okay, more interviews coming, more roasts coming, which everyone fucking loves, and <clears throat> lots more good value stuff to come, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.